this familiarization video has been developed to help trained operators of powered access equipment understand the general safety and operating features of this machine. While every effort is made to ensure that the information provided is accurate and up to date, Nationwide Platforms accepts no liability for reliance on the contents of this video, which has been produced for guidance only. It is not intended to replace the manufacturer's manual. This machine is an IPATH Category 3B Mobile Elevating Work Platform, or MUP for short. If you do not hold this category license, then you should consult your employer. Do not operate this machine. Operator Responsibilities Before using the machine, please ensure the machine has an up-to-date thorough examination. It is a mandatory requirement that a pre-use check is completed. This should include a full function check of all controls, including the emergency lowering controls. Please refer to the machine warning decals and operator's manual before use. Ground controls. The key switch and boom functions, including the emergency stop and auxiliary system, can be operated from the ground control panel. Visual and audible warnings are activated when the relevant functions are operated. The machine's operating status will be displayed on the LCD screen during the pre-use checks and when being operated. Platform controls. To operate the machine from the platform, the ground key switch needs to be in the platform position. To start the machine from the platform, enter the basket and ensure that you attach your lanyard to the designated anchor point. Pull out the emergency stop and activate and hold the heater plug switch for approximately 7 seconds. Release and then hold the starter switch until the engine starts. Once the machine is running, activate the control panel by pressing the foot switch before operating the desired function. The boom functions will not fully operate until the machine's axles have been extended. To extend the axles, the machine will have to be driven whilst simultaneously holding down the axle extend button. When the axles are fully extended, the axle set LED will change from flashing to continuous. To activate the boom functions, press and hold down the foot switch and select the required controller and move in the desired direction. Drive speed. This machine is fitted with four-wheel drive high torque and high speed drive system. Use the drive speed toggle switch on the platform control to select your desired option. These options are cancelled out once the boom is elevated, automatically reducing the machine to elevated drive speed. Drive Enable To ensure that the machine is driven in the correct direction when the turntable has been rotated, the machine is fitted with a Drive Enable system which will disable forward and reverse drive functions if the turntable has been rotated in either direction. To make sure the machine is driven in the correct direction, activate the function Enable switch and line up the chassis and platform coloured arrows. Please refer to the operator's manual for more information. Steering The machine has four modes of steering. Front wheel steer, rear wheel steer, crab steer and all wheel steer. Use the steer mode select switch to toggle through these options. Boom Operating Envelope The machine is fitted with working envelope sensors that will stop operation or alert the operator that an action is needed. This will be shown on the platform panel indicator lights. 
If the lower retract indicator light is flashing, the operator should lower or retract the secondary boom until the indicator light stops flashing. If the lower primary boom indicator light is flashing, the operator should lower or retract the primary boom until the indicator light stops flashing. Self-leveling basket. The machine maintains the basket level automatically during use. In the unlikely event that the basket does not self-level during operation, all functions will be disabled, an alarm will sound and the platform not level indicator light will start flashing to inform the operator. If this situation occurs, the operator can level the basket by using the platform basket level switch. Platform out of level, P22 code. If the ground control LED display shows platform out of level and P22 code is visible, the platform level controls will have been deactivated. In the unlikely event that this situation occurs, it is critical that the manufacturer's procedure is adhered to. The bypass recovery key switch can be located on the side of the ground control panel. Don't deviate from these instructions. For further information, contact Nationwide Platform's technical support. Overload warning. The machine is fitted with an overload protection device that will sound an alarm and cut out the functions if the platform weight limit is exceeded. To continue, Remove the weight from the platform. Reset the controls by removing the foot from the pedal. Pull out the emergency stop and wait 5 seconds. For this information, refer to the safe working load decal, the operator's manual or the manufacturer's data plate. Tilt alarm. The machine is fitted with a tilt alarm, which will sound only when the machine is on a slope that exceeds its safe operating angle. If the tilt alarm sounds when the platform is raised, the machine not level indicator light will come on and the drive function in one or both directions will be disabled. If the tilt alarm sounds with the platform uphill, lower the primary boom. Retract and lower the secondary boom. Retract the primary boom. If the tilt alarm sounds with the platform downhill, lower the primary boom. Retract and lower the secondary boom. Retract the primary boom. It is critical that these steps are followed. Emergency lowering. If the control system fails while the platform is elevated, use the emergency lowering procedure to safely lower the platform. To do this, press and hold the foot switch and activate the auxiliary switch and relevant function. In the unlikely event that the operator is incapacitated or the platform controls fail, the machine can be recovered using the ground controls. To lower the platform, turn the key to the ground position and ensure that the emergency stop is in the out position. Press and hold the auxiliary ground control switch whilst operating the relevant boom function. For future assistance regarding this procedure, please consult the operator's manual or contact Nationwide Platform's technical support. All emergency lowering plans can be viewed and downloaded from nationwideplatforms.co.uk or scan the QR code on the machine. Securing the machine At the end of use, return the turntable to the normal drive position. Retract and fully stow the boom. Park the machine in a secure designated location and switch the ground control key switch to the off position. Ensure the emergency button is pushed in. Finally, remove the key. Lifting and point loading. For the machine unladen weight, point loading and use of designated lifting points Please refer to the manufacturer's information plate and operator's manual. Alternatively, contact Nationwide Platforms. 
Thank you for watching this familiarization video. For technical support, please contact 0845 745 0000 and select option 2. Please ensure you have your machine serial number and E code to hand when calling. These can be found on the Nationwide Platform's data plate which is fitted to your machine. For iPath training, please select option 1 or book online at nationwideplatforms.co.uk forward slash training.